One of the things I learned there is the intelligence of an animal to heal itself. The professor's cat, his beloved cat, Ariman, was bitten by a rattlesnake. And we were all gathering around him, thinking I could help him. The cat was furious, stretched itself away, went off to cure himself. His cure was to stand in the river for three days, eating grasses, vomiting them up, and he emerged totally cured. It's very impressive. How is it that these, these wild animals manage to keep so healthy? The fox, the deer, they don't die. Very rarely die giving birth, but they keep healthy. So I thought, well, I'm going to learn from them. And the American Indians are very, very conscious of the animals. They say, what is, what is earth without the animals? Not only are there are fertility, keeping the land rich in them and your, there are foods, there are friends. Even King Solomon, the wise, wise, wise. God would grant him anything he wanted. He could ask for another hundred wives or <laughs> increased riches. His wish was that he could understand the conversation of the animals. He knew that he would learn from them wisdom and medicine everything they've got.